Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning back to my channel, Easy Peasy, where everything is all about you guys. And today I got an awesome episode of how to go fishing for dirt cheap. And if you look over here on this, this way, we have uh, our little John boat that we named Gator Bait. Uh, just yesterday, I went and picked up a canopy for it for 40 bucks at Walmart and installed it just because here in Florida, it's like a thousand degrees every single day. Uh, Got a little trolling motor, Minn Kota. Uh, I think we actually only paid 80 bucks for it because we had a $10 off coupon at Academy Sports. John boat cost $250 and uh, it accommodates two people very easily. Uh, we actually went through the kayak route first and that was just not working. We like to come out here, just uh, me and my wife, and uh, have a good time. We like to be able to move around and uh, just enjoy comfortable fishing and on a kayak we just we could not do that and uh, so for about less than 500 bucks we have this awesome setup right here we've used it actually already uh, for about four years uh, with these John boats being aluminum they barely weigh anything and so you can tow them with just about any kind of vehicle Believe it or not, I actually used to tow this John boat with a vehicle equipped with a 1.5 liter engine. Free seats, somebody was throwing away some uh, pool seats. This is fit in here perfect. We have four cup holders, two for him and two for her. We also have two rod holders for each person on each side. And it's, a, it's, it's been an awesome little boat. Um, you know, I know a lot of you have probably gone down the route of buying a kayak and it is just, it's, it's very difficult, especially at first, to even maintain your balance. You can hardly move around on the kayak and, and it makes fishing quite difficult. So in this setup, we actually are able to move around. I know the boat seems a little jam packed, but once we get out in the water, uh, you, you'll see that it's, uh, we, we have an awesome time every time we come out. So we did visit the uh, local bait shop and we got some shrimp. Um, I normally try and throw my cast net that I purchased at Walmart uh, for $28, which the cast net I've had for about four years and I haven't broken it. Knock on wood. Um, let me see what else we have in a John boat. Oh, somebody was throwing away some uh, uh, garage uh, carpeting that has like a really thick rubber underneath. And that really helps it, uh, your, your feet are a lot more comfortable with that carpet inside. And I don't have it permanently in there just because I like to be able to wash the John boat uh, out every now and then and it's just as easy as unloading everything and rinsing it down. And uh, let me see another thing. Oh, this is actually a 10 foot John boat. Uh, most kayaks are like 12, 14, 15 feet long. They're just extremely long and like I said this holds two people just fine and we'll catch you out on the water guys here we go see you can't do this on a kayak you can't move around like that Oh, and another thing, kayaks are so expensive. I picked this John boat up on Craigslist for $250. That is dirt cheap. All right, come on in, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and plug up the trolling motor. She's gonna get in. And away we go. to positive, black to negative. Here we go guys. <laughs> We're out on the water.
we go. So if we do the math, let's see, that was 250 for the John boat. Let's just call it an even 100 for the trolling motor, even though I think we got it for 80. Brand new. That's 350. The battery I think I got for 60, so that'd be 410. Plus the $40 canopy makes it 450. And so if you guys got a truck, you're in luck, because you could just use the back of your truck for a small John boat like this. So for less than less than 500 bucks, me and my wife are out here on the water in sunny Cocoa, Florida. This is beautiful, guys. I just love being out here. And best of all, no paddling. We're totally relaxed under our canopy in the shade. And in this little spot out here in Coco, we have actually caught tarpon, we've caught redfish, we've caught snook, we've caught sheep's head, uh, we've caught many different species of fish here. Oh yeah, mangrove snapper. Uh, I don't think I've caught any trout here yet. That was crazy. I think it was a mullet. I'm not sure. He literally hit the side of the canopy. Look at that. That would have been sweet if he would have landed inside, huh? A free bait. A lot of people think that you got to spend thousands and thousands to get out on the water for you and one other person to be comfortable on. Alright, so today we're going to be doing pretty much the same thing we always do. We uh, go at the end, all the way to the end, and then we just work our way back. If we don't catch anything in uh, within 20 minutes each time, we move like about another 10 feet. Alright guys, first fish of the day. What is it? Oh, it's a little baby cat. And today we're using uh, some shrimp and little cut up pieces of mullet. Alright, let's get him released. Let's get another piece of shrimp on there. Oh, and then for uh, our setup today, we, we're using a 20 pound braided with a uh, 20 pound clear fluorocarbon leader and a three, three offset circle. Alright guys, and this is how I pretty much put the shrimp on the hook. I like to start off uh, at the head and I work my way through the body and then I leave it inside the shrimp sometimes I'll expose it just a little bit uh, but nine out of ten times I'll just leave it hidden inside the shrimp and then that way you could see with that with the clear leader it, it's really hard for you to even see a hook there at all Uh, all of our fishing gear, our fishing poles, our uh, fishing reels, everything we actually buy at Walmart. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to be on a budget here. We're, we're not trying to spend all of our money on expensive equipment. Even though I have had expensive equipment before, I still have some Shimano reels and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, these get the job done as, as long as you keep them clean. You don't drop them in sand. You keep the sand out of them. Everything that we, we've purchased, uh, even mine, uh, I got myself a little uh, camo reel. And uh, this is an Ozark Trail reel. And it's kind of funny because the canopy that we, ha uh, we just put on the boat is an Ozark Trail canopy. And uh, this fishing pole that I'm using, it's a six foot pole. 
Uh, but believe it or not, I only spend eight dollars on the pole. I spent ten dollars on the reel. But what's the most important part about fishing, I always say, is your fishing line. The fishing line was actually more expensive. It was about fifteen dollars for the braided line, and then another fifteen dollars for a roll of fluorocarbon uh, clear. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on on your fishing uh, setup, and and this stuff works. You know, yeah, it's cool. You know that you could go spend a lot of money on a, a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars on a fishing reel, but when they all kind of do the same thing. Um, and, and my little Ozark trail reel has proven itself about 12 times that I've used it fishing. And it, it's still continuing on. I make sure to not drop it in sand and it keeps working just fine. I've caught plenty of tarpon, redfish, and snook on, on Walmart reels and the wife is on again. Second fish for her. Little. Seems like another small fish. Oh, another catfish. <laughs> but hey, catching catfish is better than not catching any fish at all. Listen to his grunt. One thing though about catfish guys is that they, they have a lot of slime on them. And you want to keep that slime off of your line. Because then, obviously, the fish are going to see a line of slime through the water. And it's not going to look like something out in the wild. Alright, another successful release. And it's good to co try to completely remove it. So that you can have a all-natural presentation of your shrimp inside the water. Alright, so here I'm going to show you guys real quick how I like to put my uh, shrimp in here. This hook is going to be inside of the shrimp, just like that. So I start off through the head, shove it in there, and then just work your way through its little body. Just like that. And like I said, you could expose the, the, the barb or the very tip of the hook. Um, but you would just want to have an all-natural presentation. We're probably going to move uh, down a little bit. Since we've only been catching catfish. Wow, what a cast. swimming right up to the boat. I don't know what it is, but he's swimming right towards the boat. He's probably going to freak out. It's, yep, now he's freaking out. Ah, oh, it's a, it's a cat. But hey, it's my first catch, so I'm happy. Let's get him off here as soon as possible without tangling everything up. So you see with these circle hooks, they normally get caught right on the corner of the mouth, just like this one did. They're usually pretty easy to come off catfish you want to do this fast even though they don't stop moving around see now he's stuck on all his barbs all of these catfish are so dangerous you have to be extremely careful
and that's why my fishing line is stuck right at the moment because they have barbs there it goes finally all right mer, 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 mer. <laughs> moving spots again just wanted to show uh, how fast the trolling motor moved in the 10-foot John boat with two people full of gear and everything even a canopy installed we're moving pretty fast obviously it's only a few knots an hour but compared to paddling oh gosh your arms are dead the next day you're you, you feel like you just went through the Worst workout ever. And the wife has caught four catfish. I've only caught one. But hey, you know, it's still gorgeous out here. We're having a great time. Yeah, we're out here. We're doing it. All right, we're anchored off and the boat is probably going to turn back around. So remember that, babe. It's beautiful. The cool, another cool thing about this John boat is that it goes anywhere a kayak can. There's a bunch of trails out here in, in Coco, especially an area called the Thousand Islands. And we've been there, we've taken our John boat through all the little trails and the mangroves where all the kayakers go where other big boats can't. But our little boat can. Probably make a, a video of that soon. Probably next video will be at the Thousand Islands. You thought you had one on? <laughs> Might have taken your shrimp. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cast back out. Get an extra line out in the water too. Oh no, seriously, he came off or is he still on? No, he's still on. Oh, now he noticed the boat. I have a really, really, really big hook. Guys, I think it's my first red of the day. Yeah, yeah. Told you we caught reds out here. Man, what a slow day, but hey, this one red just made my day. What a beautiful fish. Let me get a glove on so I can show you guys. not that I don't want to touch the fish I've just been stabbed way too many times can you hand me the pliers baby and uh, you know I switched hooks because the hooks that I, the hook that I was using was kind of small compared to the shrimp that we were using All right, he's off. Wow, what a pretty fish. Look at that beautiful red. It's a little spot on the back. What a gorgeous fish, huh? <laughs> wow, yeah, that just made my day. What a beautiful fish. Wow. <laughs> Amazing how he swallowed that ginormous hook. All right, let's let him back in the water. See, I knew they were out here. Right. Woo! A successful release. Awesome. Fish on again, guys. And he's not too happy. Predicting it's another red. Oh, he 
it does not want to come up. This one's a little bit bigger than the last. Oh, come on, buddy. I don't want him to break off either. Oh, it's a cat. He's a lot bigger than the rest that we've been catching, though. All right, let's get this guy released. You know what's funny, guys, is uh, a lot of people go to the grocery store and spend a lot of money on catfish. And all the store that we, uh, all the fish that we see in the store. They're all from another country. How is that fresh fish? And some people complain that all they ever catch are catfish out on the water. Catfish is delicious. Yeah, they may be ugly, but the meat that they have inside is awesome. Now this one's a little too small and it kind of looks pregnant. So I'm still gonna let them go. But there are some uh, really big catfish around here that are really good to fillet. Ah, oh, did he, no. He's still on. He must be a tiny one. Probably a tiny cat. Yep, and I have no idea how this tiny cat put that gigantic hook inside of his mouth. Look how tiny that little catfish is. Where's the pliers at, baby? Oh, right here. <laughs> Alright, stay still, little guy. There he goes. Clean release. And I know earlier, guys, I was telling you about the clear leader that we usually run. But, you know, I accidentally forgot to bring it with me on the, on the boat. And I had to cut my line earlier and start over. So, no clear leader here. It is what it is. Still making the best of it. I actually got that, that redfish on this setup. So, you do with what you got. Moving again, I got a little slow. After I caught that redfish, must have scared them off. So we're gonna move a little bit further down. This time we're gonna move down about a about a hundred feet. Been a beautiful day out here though. I I couldn't be happier. What a beautiful sight. Look at that behind us. How beautiful that is. <laughs> it's crazy how expensive outboards get. And I know these trolling motors don't move you very fast. But hey, you can't beat a trolling motor for about a hundred dollars. You know, if it breaks, you go get another one for a hundred bucks. You know, an outboard. You know, even a, uh, a two and a half horsepower outboard, I think, go, uh, goes for like $800. And, you know, they're very expensive uh, to replace parts and whatnot. Even though in the near future I am more than likely going to get a small outboard for this boat, just so we can go uh, to further places. I really want to show you guys how beautiful... Florida is. 
millions of people vacation here in Florida. We live in it all year long. Just for this. I know all my other videos or the majority of my videos have been about cooking because I love cooking. But one of my favorite things to do is to be gone fishing. What a beautiful day. Sunny skies. Gorgeous. And just like I said, we're out here all alone at our little secret spot. And best of all, like I said, I'm making this channel for you guys. Make your your lives easier. Show you how to get out on out on the water for for cheap without having to put a hole in your wallet. <laughs>